Queensland needs a new Chief Justice after Paul de Jersey was today confirmed as the next Governor. There's bipartisan support for the vice-regal appointment, which takes effect from July. After 16 years as Chief Justice, Paul de Jersey and his wife Kay will move into Government House in July when Penny Wensley's six-year term ends. Absolutely the perfect fit for this critically important role. The next Governor says the job is to make life better for people. Life's all, already pretty good in the Sunshine State, but uh, I'll be doing my best to maintain that and uh, to enhance it. This is a fine appointment. The timing is interesting given recent tension between the government and some of the judiciary over gang laws. But the Premier says Justice de Jersey was recommended to the Queen well before Christmas. It certainly predates um, uh, any of uh, the things the government had to do late last June. I don't think that there's a major problem in the relationship between the court system and the executive and legislative arms branches of government at all. As for a new Chief Justice, it's a chance for the LNP to practice what it's preached since losing the Redcliffe by-election. I made some comments on the weekend just past that the government would uh, listen a lot more and would consult a lot more. I would uh, appreciate if the, if the Premier could uh, discuss that appointment with me. I think it should be a bipartisan appointment. Justice John Byrne is the most senior judge after Justice to Jersey. Justice Robert Gottison is also highly regarded. We would be happy to be consulted in relation to the issue. Uh, the appointment of the next Chief Justice will be a matter for the Governor upon the recommendation of the Government. The Premier didn't want to sully the vice-regal occasion with politics, so no comment from him about another opinion poll detecting a swing against the Government. The poll commissioned by the ETU in the Treasurer's seat of Clayfield shows a 14% swing. That doesn't threaten Tim Nichols, but it's a trend the Government wants to halt. Chris O'Brien, ABC News, Brisbane.